everyone, it's Pam with Organizer AZ 911 and this is day 19 of my Go Month series of organizing video tip clips. And in this uh, tip, I want to talk about organizing your wrapping supplies. Um, there's so many different ways you can organize and keep your wrapping paper uh, contained. And I'll just talk about three different ways you can do it in this uh, tip clip, okay? Uh, first is um, this uh, door unit. I got this at the container store. It is a pricier way of containing your wrapping paper. Um, it comes with the main bar here, and it does. What's nice about it is it hooks on the top. It's a tension hook, uh, so it doesn't uh, put any holes in your doors. And then each basket you can pick out separately and mix and match the way you most uh, like to have your things stored. So as you see, I put all my uh, like ribbons and tissue paper and bow, little bows on the top. And then I had another basket with the bigger bows. And then I just put a little uh, plastic cup in here for the scissors and my tape. Um, then here, my gift baskets. And then this actually is a slightly different unit um, that I found. It's, it's not the normal baskets that these come with. This is actually a media uh, rack. And it's, it's designed to go in this, but it's basically for your CDs or other uh, uh, video type um, media equipment. And it's great in that it has little divider bars here, but the one problem you want to make sure you are aware of before you try to do something like this is that these media bars are set at a certain distance and some wider rolls of uh, wrapping paper do not fit in there. Okay, um, and like in the front one, only really tiny, let me show you, this tiny uh, fit in the front section. It has like three sections. I don't know if you can zoom in if you caught that three, the three sections. The front and the back ones are very narrow. Only the middle one is wide. So again, you have to watch the size of the wrapping paper rolls. A way you can work around that is to use a simple uh, curtain rod. And you, but then again, that would mean fastening it to your door to help contain, and you would just put it down lower, of course. But um, that's another way you can get around having to use this one if you're having trouble with the, the distance between these little bars here. Okay, so that's one unit you could uh, use. Again, it gets kind of pricey. This is upwards of 50 plus dollars of different parts. Um, let me show you two other ways you can do it for a lot less. Okay, another more economical way of storing your wrapping paper is a simple under the bed bin like this. It's got little rollers on it. Um, and then maybe a smaller bin like this inside of it where you can store your scissors and tape and all your other accessories that you need for wrapping. A quick heads up on this, I got caught uh, doing this. As you can see, I can only fit wrapping paper diagonally in here. I didn't measure. These tubes like this are like 30 inches and this bin was 30 inches from outside to outside but from this inside part to the inside it came out to be 28 inches. So I was two inches short. They won't play like this. So watch the bins that you purchase. They do come longer and uh, bring your measuring tape. Measure twice, buy once. Uh, measure the inside, from the inside to inside, to make sure it's going to be long enough before you purchase something like this. Because um, I got stuck and that's when I actually uh, diverted to my door unit for wrapping paper. But this is a real economical way. When you buy the right size, you can put all your paper this way, the long vertical. You can have your other smaller packages of wrapping paper, all your bows and everything in a bin like this with your tape and scissors and then you just cap it and roll it under whatever spare bed you have. Okay, so that's a second one, you can, second way you can store your wrapping paper and keep it organized. A third is a simple paint bucket. This I only got at Home Depot, the paint bucket, and then I got the little, uh, these are little tool belts, canvas tool belts, uh, that I got at Lowe's. They have them at Home Depot, but they were out of them, so I grabbed some from Lowe's. And you simply tie them around the top. Um, that's what I did. I took two and tied around the top. And in the little pockets, I can keep, if I can get it out now, my tape, 
and my scissors. And on this other side, I keep tissue paper and bows. And then, of course, in the bin, you can put as many of these as you want and then just store it in a, the corner of a closet somewhere. It's a really, really inexpensive way to, um, to store your wrapping paper. And one other way you can, you know, I said I tied these uh, little uh, work aprons around the top. If it's not holding well for you, take a simple binder clip and you can clip them to, to the top of the bin as well. And then you don't have to worry about tying them at all. So that is another quick, easy solution to keep all your wrapping supplies neat and organized and then it just tucks away in a closet. So you have the door method, which is a little pricier, but is a really cool, I have to admit it's kind of cool, uh, to have for all your wrapping paper. You can do an under the bed container like this to keep all your wrapping supplies safe and uh, secure. And then you also have a simple painter's tub with a couple of these canvas. These canvas bibs, like I said, they run, I think, 77 cents at Home Depot, and they were a little more. They were like 98 cents at uh, Lowe's, and the bucket is on $5 as well. Nice, inexpensive, uh, and easy solution for your wrapping needs. I hope this tip helped. For more tips, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow me on uh, Twitter and like me on Facebook for more daily tips. I'm Pam with Organizer AZ911. Thanks for watching.